Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of the items that I picked up during the month of March. So stick around. So during the month of March, there were a lot of great releases, some um, sales going on that I participated in. So I did get quite a few um, items. Um, during the first week, though, I only picked up one title, and that was Demonic. Um, really like having these um, different IFC Midnight releases. So I got this one. There were some other releases that week that I did not pick up. I'm waiting for a price drop. Uh, but during the second week, I did get quite a few items. Um, I did get some from the UK, uh, from 101 Films. I got the Zodiac Killer. And I got She Freak. And I also picked up Midnight. And then from the US, from Kino Lorber, I got Strange Bedfellows. Man's Favorite Sport. And then I got John and the Hole. I got the Sonic the Hedgehog um, set with the little mini still book. The Boy Behind the Door. And then from Shout Factory, Screen Factory, I got the Collector's Edition of Nightmare. And then we had the release of West Side Story. I did get the Disney Movie Club exclusive. Then I got the Best Buy exclusive still book and the Target exclusive with the art cards. And then I got Red Rocket. And then from Screen Factory, I got the Sword and the Sorcerer. And then we got a new Vestron release. We got Dream a Little Dream. And then some more Kino titles um, that was released. We got Touch of Evil on um, just a regular Blu-ray release. And then we also got, which I guess this right here was not the Blu-ray release. This right here is the 4K release. And then there was a Blu-ray release that I picked up with the different artwork. And then from Arrow Video, I got American Werewolf in London. So very happy to have all of these added to the collection. Okay, on the third week, I got some other UK releases. I did get Monster Man from 101 Films. I've heard some really good things about this one. And then I got the DVD release for 13 Fanboy. Um, still need to check that one out. And then I got Silent Night. And then we had some Disney Movie Club exclusives. I got Darby O'Gill and the Little People. And the Gnomobile. And then we did have a big release for The Matrix um, Resurrections. I got the Target exclusive. I got the Best Buy still book. And I got the UK still book. And then we did have an another release from Arrow Video. We got Phenomena, which I got the um, this release here from the UK. And this one. And this one. And also this one. Still haven't seen this, but I do have plenty of copies to watch now if I if whenever I do get around to watching it. Um, but happy to have those in the collection. Okay, so this next week was a really big release week. I did get a lot of titles for this particular week. I got from the UK, I got Odd Couple. A Tale of Two Guns, so a new western added to the collection. We got Eastern Promises from Kino Lorber. Brian Loves You. Um, 645. We got the Disney Movie Club exclusive for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um, a Time for Dying from Indicator. The Phantom of the Monastery from Indicator. And then from Arrow Video, we got To Sleep So As To Dream, La Llorona, Mad Dog Morgan, and then from 88 Films, we got um, Shailen, Shailen Mantis, Monkey Kung Fu, 
Another Aero Video release, we got Come Drink With Me. Then we had the release for um, Nightmare Alley on 4K. Plus they got the um, Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. And then we also got the Steelbook release for um, the Hunger Games um, collection. I did an unboxing of that if you want to check it out. And then we had a huge release for The Godfather on 4K. Plus they also did some single releases. So I got the box set for the trilogy. And then I got The Godfather on Blu-ray. And The Godfather Part 2 with these slips. And I also got this big collection. Which I have not opened yet. I'm still torn if I'm going to open this or not as far as if it's going to go down in price because I really want to get a better price on it so I have not opened that one yet okay during the last week um, I picked up Screams of a Winter Night I got the UK release for Lamb with this nice slip and then Screen Factory's release of On the Third Day a 7 release for House on the Edge of the Park Really nice looking slip. From Kino Lorber, I got the Edgar G. Ulmer sci-fi collection. Um, from Warner Brothers, I got the Wonderful World of the Brothers Grimm. Paramount Presents had a new release for Ordinary People. Another Kino release for The Apartment on 4K. And then we also got the release for Magnum P.I. The Complete Series which I did an unboxing for. Now I also picked up some other titles during the month for different sales that were going on. Um, actually I had some February items that finally showed up from different um, um, distributors. So I did get a lot of items. We got Fangs, really nice looking slip cover. A film called Groupie. From Kino Lorber I finally got my Murphy's Law which I enjoyed this film and Man on the Moon finally showed up and then the final option and some um, other releases that I got from Kino Lober I got Masquerade Bird on a Wire Adios Sabata um, The Land That Time Forgot Link 23 Paces to Baker Street. I got the RKO Classic Romances with all these films on it. And then I also got the RKO Classic Adventures with these three films. And I got Three Bad Men. And another one from Kendall Lorber is the 4K release for Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy, which finally showed up. And then from, the, from Criterion, I did participate in the Criterion um, flash sale. I got Written in the Wind, Written on the Wind, The Learning Tree, Miller's Crossing, The Piano, Love Affair, and finally added Blow Up to the collection. And then some other oddball releases from previous um, release months. Um, I got Saw the Nine Film Collection. Um, Severin release for Wax Mask. I got The Banker. Stingray. Journey into Fear. Magdalena. Forced Entry. And then from 101 Films, I did get Baghead. Sweetie, You Won't Believe It. And the Jagged Edge. And then from Arrow Video, I did get some more releases. I did get um, Django, the Steelbook Edition. I've been wanting to add that one to the collection. I finally um, was able to get that. And I was finally able to get the Children of the Corn Trilogy box set, which has all three films, which I really needed. And it's got a, a nice hard box. And then I received an order for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, this right here is the Premium Edition. Let me get this other one behind it. So um, this right here is the one that has a still book with it. They have four different releases and this is the one that I was able to get. 
And then I did get some media books from Orbit DVD. I got A Dark Song, which I've heard great things about. And I got The Hitcher. Um, so really happy to have these media books in the collection. I really do like the artwork. And hopefully we'll be able to get The Hitcher added to a U.S. release eventually. Or maybe, I think Second Sight was supposed to be doing a release for The Hitcher. So I'm definitely looking forward to picking that one up. But anyway, those are the titles that I picked up during the month of March. Hopefully you were able to get all the titles that you wanted added to your collection. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. Maybe some recommendations of some of these that I need to check out um, pretty quickly as I'm watching movies during the month of April. Um, but thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.